Why? Because time is of the essence for an actor. We have to uh, we have to worry about other things. So the director watches everything ahead of time, <laughs> and then uh, they, uh, they they tell you what's going on in the show. Then you come in and record. Now in a perfect world, yes, you will have time to kind of study your your character. But when you come audition for a part like Rakiba, all I had to go on was a picture of him, a description of how he is, like he's cocky. Five or six lines showing a range of emotions. That's all you have to go on when you when you audition. And then you get the part and then you need to go how that fits into the frame of the whole story and the whole context. That's why it's challenging as an actor. You gotta get in the zone. You gotta kinda get attuned into that character. You gotta get into that mindset as soon as you get in that mood, put your headphones on, you have to get the panel of your script, you got the monitor, and your headphones are hearing the director with you from outside and another one. So you're juggling all this, your performance, the voice, taking direction, your ability to alter your performance if something's not right. So that's hopefully what you guys are going to be enlightened about today, because I know that that's the most common thing to get as voice actors is, I want to be a voice actor. Yeah, I 
But uh, I think you're someone quite different. You're not much giver and all this. Ooh, it's not. <laughs> Great. <laughs> think about how hard you have it as an on screen actor. But the constant pressure of looking perfect and pretty all the time, and having a change of wardrobe in your car to race across town to get the audition and all that. The voice actor, that's where you're going to be Unshaven, preferably big though. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, in general, 